I never see, I never see. A cookwe do man, na why? A cookwe do man, na why? Why we say na why? We have a situation where right in northeast Nigeria, city of Gombe, and a source of man sold his house for seven million the GRE and said, told his friend that he was driven by snakes in the house, so he needed accommodation. That the house which he sold, he used it to loan money. Meanwhile, he's a pathological liar, unknown to a friend for over 20 years, who was friend of him, didn't know his friend was a pathological liar. He drives a Renault, has a family of like a grown-up lady, and two other boys. And what was to happen? His friend seconded him that, oh, I am leaving town to Lagos, so we needed somebody to stay in the apartment. So I didn't know him. My name is Moe. I don't know him. But because he was recommended by his friend, he started staying in one room in my apartment. And uh, another sitting room area, having access to a toilet for himself. He started staying there since 2016. The irony of it is, this man, living in the free house with his children, driving his car every day, parking in the compound alone with the neighbor left and right, ended up pilfering everything in the house and thinks he will become rich doing that. Not only did he steal everything in the house, household utensils, cooking pots, plates, spoons, fork, knife, Clothes, personal clothes, suits, t shirt shirts, combatant shorts, canvas, pressing iron, hot plate, freezer, cuttings, and everything. Even head pants for bricklayer, the man did not leave out. He stole everything. Stole even cutting knives for iron rod, for wood, wood saw, head pan. The man stole everything. The story and the information got out when we discovered he was trying to sell uh, the GP tank. He was carrying it out of the house. And a neighbor of mine called me, what's wrong with your GP tank? Your tenant is taking it out. And I called the contact person in Gumbe. What is wrong with this man? And the man said, oh, the thing is leaking. His children boy who in it. And I said, how can something we bought brand new be leaking? It's not possible for it to leak because we bought it brand new, 2016 for 20,000. To date, we haven't seen that man. He's on the run. I don't know how long he's going to run. Mr. Isaac, they call him. And also some man. It's funny because a year before then, a Fulani man, 70 years old man with his wife and small son, lived in that same house for over one year. Nothing was missing. But because of the general party for the Fulani people, and Fulani headsman syndrome, I was told to, well, to tell him to please leave because before he now says the property is owned. Forgetting that even our own town's mind is worse off. That's what we're saying. So, the lesson is, you don't know what you don't know. And there's also a man who was called by his friend to say, oh, did you do something wrong in Gombe? The man said, no, he didn't do anything wrong. Do you know the owner of this house? He said, no, he doesn't know the owner of this house. I said, but you stole in my house. He said, oh, he didn't steal, he just borrowed the things. 
I called him on a Sunday with his line and he answered me, oh, he's praying to God, I should not disturb him. He's going to call me back after praying. Did he ever call back? He never called back to date. Maybe he's going to come now. If you start waiting for such a pathological liar, are you not dead in time and space?